Good afternoon, traders. Uh, this is Brian Morris, aka the Storm Trader. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, but uh, I wanted to kind of go over a little bit about what I've been doing here in the background um, and, and just kind of show you the strategy and see how amazing it is and what you really can do with it. Um, the creator of the strategy suggests trading from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., and that's what I try to adhere to. But I wanted to show you the possibilities. Um, what you can do if you traded from 8 a.m. till the end of market. Um, now, every day may not be like this. This is the first day I've actually kind of looked at it this way and looked at the different uh, uh, strategies and different um, trade setups that you can actually do. So uh, I want to go through here and kind of count these up and, and see what we did for the day. So um, I've already marked them. I haven't counted them, but I will kind of go through and explain a lot of them to you. Try to make this video a little bit short. I don't want it to make it uh, too too long, but I wanted you to at least see the power of what uh, you can really do, even if you just did one or two trades a day. Um, I know the creator of this strategy says uh, one trade a day, and you know what? Honestly, that's fine. Uh, you can scale up to multiple contracts and, and do really really well. But I wanted to show you what you could do uh, just for today. What 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 the market gave us just today, which is Tuesday, July thirty first, two thousand eighteen. So starting at 8 o'clock, which would be this candle right here, as you can see it's uh, 8 o'clock and 40 seconds. I'll just run a quick um, bar by bar. Uh, this is our first trade setup, and the reason uh, it broke through resistance, came back down uh, as a retrace, and gave us a signal to go long. So if we move forward there, boom. We're only looking for 8 ticks, and uh, that's easy. 26.50, 29.50, there's 12 ticks right there available. So even if there was some slippage, uh, you would have won that trade. So there's uh, one winner. I'm going I'm to mark these on a separate piece of paper here. So one winner. And let's keep moving forward. see it down there so this is our second our second trade of the day it is an EMA bounce uh, it is also a retracement came through broke through support bounced up less than uh, it needs to be uh, less than three bars so this was only uh, once that bar number four paints the trade is disqualified most of the time I won't trade it sometimes I will I will trade a, a four bar but not anything more than that um, but the tail is touching the uh, the EMA as well, so this was kind of a, a double confirmation here, and then boom, we got another we got another winner. So let's let's keep moving forward throughout the day and see what we get. I mean, you could have been done right there. I mean, with the first trade of the day at eight thirty and been done, or you could have taken two trades at nine or three, been done an hour trading and you're done. Here's the next trade. Broke through uh, resistance, retraced, back up, boom, there's three winners. Looks like our next trade here, EMA touch, uh, just the tail. If it's if you got the, the whole body on the EMA, it's disqualified. It has to be just the tail touch. Um, and then, boom, there's another one. Those four wins. And we got another one coming up here. Looks like, uh, yeah, so it broke through support, back up, retrace, back down, boom, another winner. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, this one was more of a double bottom. We got where it's bouncing off of, a, or kind of a price action trade. It's kind of bounce off that level here. It kind of broke through a little bit. Um, kind of bounced up there, bounced here. So this was a more of a um, a, a different strategy play, and it didn't work. So we finally got a loser. <laughs> so here's another one broke through multiple levels of resistance, retrace, back down, 
And this one was a close one. So I get in at 28, and it went all the way up to 30, 50. So you could have had up to two ticks of slippage on that one and still made that one as long as it stayed up there long enough to fill. So that one counts as a win. It looks like we have another one coming up here. Yeah, so this one again, double bottom down here. Those are always good ones. And again, that looks a little bit close. 28, uh, one tick above where it was before, so even another opportunity. And this is one where you see it's starting to range. So it'll probably stay out until it breaks out of this range, which it did. And then we got another breakout, retrace, and then back up. And another winner. <clears throat> and it's only 9.30. So we could do this all day. I don't want to explain all of them. Right now it's just kind of ranging. Um, so there's no trades. <clears throat> only broke out of that. And this one's too long. Even if this would have retraced, this is kind of an extended... Uh, you don't know if that was exhausted or not. Here's another EMA touch for a win. It looks like a win. Yep. Um, well, here's another one. It could have been. Not only is it a. I didn't even count this one. Uh, looks like a double bottom. Well, let's go ahead and add that one in there because I don't want to leave anybody out. So a double bottom and an EMA touch right there. Got a triple triple tail, which is a different strategy. But and um, and these usually only go around the uh, EMAs. But uh, in this case, it worked out for another win. This one, again, this was a double top. Right here, bouncing off this resistance line. Another winner. Right now, we're at 11 wins and only one loss. Again, this was a break of support. Retrace, back down. That one was a loser. Uh, stop would have been right here and it would have taken us out. So there's another loser. Looks like we've got some choppiness there. Got a breakout. Retrace. Let's see if we get this to go down. There's another loser. So again, here we go. Breaks through support, bounces up, retrace, back down. Winner, winner. There's an EMA touch, winner. Another EMA touch, winner. So those are three more winners that are in a row to count. And again, it's not even 10 o'clock on the chart. Um, another breakout of support. <clears throat> winner. Uh, EMA touch, winner. Marking those. <clears throat> Double bottom. Uh, it was close, but it was a winner. A retrace, break of resistance, retrace, winner. There's two more winners I need to mark. Uh, this one was uh, another double bottom here and close. Maybe this wasn't a winner here. 25 up to 27.50. Yeah, that should have been. Got two ticks of slippage available and still could have won that. But we stopped trading. Normally this could have been another entry here and this could have been another entry here, but it's, it's ranging. So um, no trades until we break out a little bit, which it did. And again, this is a breakout, retrace, another winner. Oh, maybe not. Uh, 30, 50, up to 32. No, that was a loser. No dice. Stop would have been down here. So that was a loser. This one is a bounce off of the support. 
winner. So we're up to 20 wins and 4 losses so far. Uh, another EMA bounce for a winner. Um, break of resist, break of support, retrace, back down, another winner. Uh, same thing, broke through, retrace, winner. Same thing, another winner. There's two more. Another breakout, uh, another retrace to the other direction, another winner. Uh, EMA bounce for a winner. So those are two more. And so not even 10.30 on the chart. So got a long way to go. Uh, double bottom. Winner. Double top. Winner. EMA bounce. Winner. Uh, retrace. Winner. Maybe not. Let me count those three wins before I go back to this one, this one does not look like it's a winner. 2650 to 2850. It could have been, but almost always there's at least one tick of slippage. So let me see what this guy ends up doing here. And that one would have been a loser. I'm going to go ahead and count it as a loser, even though it made it to eight ticks. Um, and realistically, um, there's usually at least one tick, if not two, of slippage entering trade. So We'll count that as a loser. Uh, again, the breakout, retrace to the downside, winner. Double top, winner. EMA bounce, winner. I mean, how many was that? One, two, three. EMA bounce, winner. Double bottom winner. I'll just show you that this one was a winner. Uh, 22 up to 24.75. Plenty of room for slippage on that one. So I need to count those those two more. Double bottom and EMA bounce winner. EMA bounce winner. EMA bounce winner. EMA bounce winner. So there's four right there. We're only at 11 o'clock. So if we stopped at 11 o'clock per the uh, strategy creator, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 38, and 5 at 11 a.m. And if we get the handy dandy calculator out here. Thirty-eight trades times forty dollars per trade at one contract is fifteen hundred and twenty dollars. Now you got to count the losers five times sixty dollars for the losers. So if we take three hundred from fifteen twenty, you've made twelve hundred and twenty dollars in three hours. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, I can keep going here. You can see there's another winner. There's another. Well, maybe maybe that wasn't a winner. 44.50. No, that would have been a loser. So I will add on one of each. I don't want this video to get uh, too terribly long. We're already hitting about 15 minutes. But, I mean, you can see... You know, EMA bounce winner, EMA bounce winner. Uh, that one was a continuation trade winner. Those are three winners there. Um, continuation trade winner. Uh, continuation. No, this was an EMA bounce winner. That was a continuation. 
65, 50, 60. It had one tick available to slippage, so that one would have been a winner. Assuming you didn't have two ticks of slippage. Uh, and EMA bounce there for the win. That was a three tail also, so there's three more. I mean, you see where I'm going with this. I mean, we're at one o'clock now, so the, the candles will, will be, the market's slowing down. There's a uh, continuation winner. Another continuation winner. Uh, let's double check that winner. 55 to 52.50. Yep, plenty of time on that one. It would have taken a little bit of time, but it was a winner. So there's two more. And we're about 1.30. Uh, EMA bounce winner. Double bottom winner. Uh, continuation winner. Three more. This one is a continuation winner. Double bottom winner. EMA bounce winner. There's three more. This was a continuation winner. It took a while on that one, but it worked. Uh, this one. This was a double top winner. Um, this one was a continuation loser. So we have finally losers. So there was two winners and another loser in there. That, so let's look at this one. This one was a more of a double top or our double support or double resistance winner. This one was a continuation winner. EMA bounce winner. So there's three more. EMA bounce winner. EMA bounce winner. Continuation winner. Three more. EMA bounce winner. Continuation winner. Let's see how easy this gets. Even trading in uh, difficult afternoon markets there. This one was more of a double support here. I think that was the mindset when I marked this one because it, the tails were touching down here. Tails touch this one didn't quite come down uh, but uh, the tails still. So this one was probably a riskier trade but it won. That one might not necessarily be so much of a, a good one but it still won. <laughs> And that might have been about where I stopped, because um, the last hour or so I, I have not uh, I have not marked this. This got us up to about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, a lot of the markets start to slow down and, and really don't do much after that. So I uh, definitely wouldn't advise trading after four. But uh, you know, so let's look. The second half was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-six, and two. So it did even better. Um, let's see what that equals here. So 26 times $40, one contract, $1,040. And then we only lost two trades, so that's going to be 120 or $920. And we add that to the 1220 from 8 to 11, $2,140. dollars per contract. It's a lot of trades, don't get me wrong. That's a uh, uh, 38 and 5 the first half so that's uh, 7 trades for 64 so that's 71 trades <laughs> that's a lot um, and then you gotta figure in commissions as well so 21 40 um, this is the NASDAQ so for me at least it's two dollars and sixty cents a trade round trip times 71 trades 184.60 minus the 21.40. So 1955 bucks net and 40 cents for the day. Not bad per contract. Imagine if you're trading five contracts, almost 10 grand in a day, or 10 contracts, 20 grand in a day.
Now this is just the what you can do. This is not what I would suggest anyone do. I would suggest uh, one or two trades and done. But this is just an example of what can be done. And these are just the trades as I marked and I was marking them. I was not able to trade today, but um, I was uh, marking them line by line. So I would get to that point and think, okay, that's a setup for this without knowing what was going on and without doing replay or any of that other stuff. So I'm just letting you know this is previous data that's been marked here. And I know hindsight is easier to see than, than live market data, but I'm telling you, I see these things in real time. And this is what's available. So anyway, that's all for now. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can contact me on Twitter um, or uh, here on YouTube. And I look forward to, to talking to you and uh, let me know if you have any questions.